Hello there, Internet world. My name is Renee Jones, and this is 5 Minutes with TLS. Before I get started, I'm going to ask you to like the channel, uh, subscribe. Hopefully, uh, the content you've been hearing from me for the past several years now, uh, we just started doing YouTube videos very recently. But hopefully, you like the content enough that you subscribe to the channel. Uh, number one, it helps us with the algorithms. Same thing with liking the channel. So, like the channel that way we can get our information out to more people in the distribution supply chain and distribution arena uh today i'm going to be talking about anyone that's ever met me would tell you renee's going to say the same thing over and over it's your responsibility as a distributor to get the customer what they want when they want it in the condition they want it in so that you can price your product competitively if you're not doing that shame on you you may as well be, I don't want to say the DMV, because I think the DMV with automation has actually started doing pretty good. The problem is the DMV is improving, but your warehouse hasn't improved. Uh, work, I believe it was a year or so ago, said 87% of orders are, or 87.5% of orders are complete, on time, damage free, documented correctly, and priced correctly. 87.5% of orders. That means 12 orders, if you ship 100 orders a day, 12 of your orders are either going to come back, they're going to not be paid on time because they weren't priced correctly, or they're going to be sent back to the vendor because there's a damage. They were damaged. 12 of your orders out of every 100 is going to have a problem. That's a serious issue within our business or within our industry. It's your responsibility to figure out how do you eliminate damages? How do you make sure that your pickers are more accurate? How do you make sure that you price your product correctly, which has nothing to do with your warehouse staff? How do you make sure that you deliver the material on time, basically fulfill the promise that the salesman made? And how do you make sure that that order is complete? But that's going back to your vendors, making sure your vendors deliver the material to you so you can deliver it to your customers on time. If you're not doing those things, then there's a reason you have 12 of your orders basically not make it to your customer complete, on time, damage free, priced correctly, and documented correctly. If you're not doing that, again, can't say you're the DMV because they're doing a, a pretty remarkable job. It's a lot of people and a lot of time you're standing there but that's no different than coming into your will call counter. I've walked into places and seen through the analysis that we do, the line wrapped outside the door, especially with COVID now, uh, where you don't want too many people standing inside, but I've seen the line wrapped outside the door because individuals didn't want 